In this video, we're going to solve two trig equations in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. The 0 is included, the 2 pi is not. So let's look at the first one. We have the sine of 2x is equal to the cosine of x. Normally, we want just x and x here. And we want the function to be the same if possible. But let's do this. For sine of 2x, we can write that as 2 sine of x and cosine of x. That's using a trig identity. The sine of 2x equals 2 sine of x cosine of x. This could be theta instead of x, just a variable. I'm going to take the cosine over to the left side by adding the opposite to both sides. So this is going to be a minus cosine of x. And that's going to equal to 0. So just like in algebra, you solve quadratic equations or other equations by factoring. And for the quadratic equation, you have the quadratic formula. So now we have it in this form. Still have the sine and the cosine, but in this case, we can factor out the cosine. And that leaves them with a 2, and then sine of x minus 1. Factoring the cosine. Then once we have it factored, of course, the product of two factors is 0, if 1 or both are 0. So we normally just set each factor equal to 0. Okay, that means cosine of x can be 0, or 2 sine of x minus 1 can be zero. And you can solve for solutions in degrees. If you're more comfortable working with degrees and then convert to radians for your final answer, because this one wants it in radians. So here for cosine of x, what angle has a cosine value of zero in the interval from zero to two pi? Well, there's two of them. One of them is 90 degrees and the other one is 270 degrees. 90 degrees in radians, is pi over 2 and 270 in radians is 3 pi over 2. Now for this one we bring the 1 over divide by 2 we get sine of x is equal to 1 half. So now we're asking what angle in the interval from 0 to 2 pi or 0 to 360 has a value of 1 half. Hopefully you know your 30, 60 right triangles, reference triangles, and the 45-45 right triangle. And we should know here that the sine of the angle that has a value of one half is 30 degrees, or in radians, pi over six. And there's another angle in that interval from zero to two pi, or zero to 360, that has a value of one half. And that, of course, is 180 minus 30, or pi minus pi over 6. That's 150 degrees, or 5 pi over 6. So we have four answers in the interval. Keep in mind that if they want the complete solutions, you simply add the period of that uh, function, in this case 2 pi, to each of these multiples of 2 pi, n times 2 pi. What we're dealing with degrees is n times 360. But in this case, we only want the answers or solutions in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. So I'm going to write them all together here. It's x equal to pi over 6, pi over 2, pi, pi over 6, and 3 pi over 2. So that's the four solutions for this first equation in the interval from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, for the second one, we have 3 minus sine of x is equal to cosine of 2x. And there's also an identity for this one. Because we have an x here for the argument and a 2x over here. So normally we want the same argument, if possible. In this case, it is possible. We can replace the cosine of 2x by... We can write this either in terms of cosine or sine. Obviously, since this is sine over here, we want it in terms of sine. So the identity is 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. So now this equation becomes 3 minus sine of x is equal to 1 minus 2 sine squared of x. So what we do is we will bring this over to the left side by adding the opposite. So this will give me a 2 sine squared x. Still have the minus sine of x. Take the 1 over also to this side, be a minus 1 and a 3, give me a plus 2. 
equals to zero. And again, normally you would just try to factor this out and see if you can set each factor equal to zero and solve, but this one doesn't factor. So we're going to use the quadratic formula. So think of this as uh, 2x squared minus x plus 2. So this, the sine of x plays a role of the variable. So I'm just going to set it up this way. Instead of an x here, I'm going to put a sine of x. I'm using the quadratic formula. So this is sine of x is equal to, so think of this as an x. And then what does the formula say? It says a minus b. Now here the coefficients are 2, negative 1, and a, and, a, and a 2. So the b is negative 1. So the formula says it's minus a, my, uh, a b. And b is negative 1. So this is a 1 here. Put a negative 1 here if you want. That should be. And you take the opposite of that. This plus or minus the square root. And then the discriminant here is b squared minus 4ac. So b squared is negative 1. So this would be a 1 here again, negative 1 squared. And then it's a minus 4 ac. The a is 2 and the c is 2. And then it's over 2 times a. a is 2. So this is going to equal 2, 1, plus or minus, and then you got about 2 times 2 here is 4, times a minus 4 is minus 16, that's the square root then, of 1 minus 16 is a negative 15, and this 2 times 2 is 4. So I got the square root of a negative 15, that's not a real number. So there's nothing I can select in this interval here, so this one has no real solution. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.